Hey y'all, I am going to do something a little bit different today. A few days ago, maybe even a week or so ago, anyways, whenever it was, I mentioned something about kind of our daily routine. And one of you sweet ladies said, hey, would you share your daily routine with us? Because we have three little boys, as y'all know, so summer can be, like, to me, the absolute best, and it can be challenging to fill the days and everybody stay happy and mommy be able to get work done, all the things, and y'all are the same way. So, if you're a mama of littles out there, this is for you. If not, I totally understand that you won't be interested, but I just wanted to talk to y'all for a few minutes about what our day looks like and just maybe give you some ideas and I also want to hear from y'all because y'all definitely like I do not claim to have the best system at all so I'm going to give you a chance to give me some ideas about how to schedule your days and stuff and then I am going to create a blog out of this and y'all will be able to look at some different ideas from each other for how to fill your days. We are on our third week of summer so it may seem a little bit late to do this but as y'all know we were first sick like the first week and a half um, and then my husband was traveling so I really feel like this is our first kind of normal kind of week at home. So here it goes, and patience with me as I just kind of talk with you through some things. We're actually, I'm not really, we're kind of off our normal routine because I wanted my boys to be outside. The weather's great while I film this or else you wouldn't be able to hear a word that I say. Um, to begin with, I'm getting distracted by them. I can see them through the window and I'm really sorry. I am a person who thrives on schedule on a schedule. It's not, or on a routine of some kind. It's not necessarily the best for everybody, and I get that. We get our babies on a schedule as soon as their little bodies can do that. And for us, it makes happier children and um, happier parents. So every day is not perfect, we know that. Um, but we do have a routine and we find as parents that like if they know what to expect in their day that everything just feels a little more peaceful so maybe that's because I'm raising little humans like myself okay so it's like 10 o'clock here and like I said we're not really on schedule because I'm doing this but normally we get up between 7 30 and 8 in the summer which I get up earlier than that, but that's when our boys are allowed out of their room. Um, and I've normally already gotten somewhat ready, and I've had my own time with the Lord that morning right now. Like it took, um, we're at seven months old, our little deacon, and it took a few months, obviously, for me to be able to do that in peace and quiet in the morning. But right now, I can do that, and so I take advantage of it. We come downstairs. The boys, our bigger boys, our four and five year old, make their own breakfast while I'm feeding brother. And then we eat breakfast together. We sit down at the table and every morning during the summer, we're able to do this. During the school year, it's a lot more challenging. But, um, shoot, I'm not, I forgot how to switch my camera around and y'all have told me but I keep forgetting. So we sit down and with my bigger boys, I do this devotion. It's like 70 something weeks worth. So we're over a year into doing this because we don't do every day. I would be lying if I said I was perfect. This is a devotion about the New Testament, old story new. And it's definitely above their heads, um, but we believe that it's better to challenge them um, instead of always kind of being right where they are. And so I have to help them with a lot of the answers, but we love it. And they so impress me with, sometimes they ask the question before the, the devotion asks the question, I'm like, that is a good question. Let's talk about what that means. Um, and then they actually sit there. I do like my Bible study in the morning by myself, but then they sit there while I read them. My sweet friend at the beginning of the year, Krisha, one of my lifelong friends, she gifted me with this and I've loved it. And obviously it's a devotion 
It's New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It's a devotion for adults, but um, I sit there and read it to them. And, you know, they don't, I do not expect that it's like anywhere near their, their four and five. But they hear grace over and over, the word, just the words, they hear it over and over. Um, the other day, my five-year-old picked up on a word. He didn't know what it was. And so we were able to talk about it. So they're normally squirming in their seats to get up and they don't like when it looks long, <laughs> but we do it anyways. Um, and it's good and it's our time together at the table. So our littlest one goes down for a nap around nine o'clock, 9.30, uh, 9, 9.30, depending on when he got up for the morning and then kind of starts, he'll nap for a couple of hours and then kind of starts my work time and the boys, my bigger boys, their, some of their like alone playtime. So what I do before I go up into the office and start working, and obviously I'm always like available for them. Y'all hear them interrupt me regularly on stories and stuff, but I sit out, gee whiz, if I can't figure out how to, I'll just turn my camera around. I sit out different toys or like activities for the day. So today I sat out, I pulled them each a coloring sheet out, um, a couple of coloring sheets. And if I just leave the book out, the coloring book, I find that they um, just scribble all over every page. So this helps them be a little bit more focused. I set out the crayons. Over here is for my younger one. Do y'all have one of these? Um, he, he likes to try to fit all of the things in there. Um, I got this on Amazon. It says wood intelligence. I don't really know what it is. And then like today I set out one piece of paper with some scissors. And then for my bigger guy, oh, this is so funny how I'm doing this. Um, my five-year-old, he's practicing his lowercase letters for kindergarten in the fall. And we don't really stress like this sort of stuff too much. But he actually enjoys it. A few days ago, he did those two pages. Today, I was going to let him just do these few pages. So this is what he'll do when his brother's doing the wooden intelligence thing. And then, um, well, actually, I don't tell them, like, what order to do anything in. This is just, like, there's Levi's stuff. Here's Titus's stuff. He has some scissors and some paper. And then a couple of things they can do together. I normally set out some puzzles. This is construction, all things construction when you have little boys and a United States puzzle. And then this is, like, a little, um, we have some different bins with stuff like this in it. And those are like things where they can build. I don't know if y'all have seen that before. I'm not giving you a great angle. Anyways, they can build these other things. So I kind of want them to do the table for like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and then after that, again, it's not always perfect, but that's like my goal. They know I'm going to take a break from work. Um, that lighting is terrible. I'm going to take a break from work. And I'm going to come down and tell them like their table time is over. And this is the first summer we've done something like that, y'all. I mean, maybe we could have done it when they were three and four. I, I know that they can sit there alone and work on some things together at four and five. So this is the first summer that we're doing that. And then they get to, while I'm kind of finishing up work, they get to come into our living room. And look, they've already pulled out some stuff. And they get to play on the rug while brother finishes his nap. We do have a playroom, but the playroom is by Deacon's room, and he's sleeping. And although I am typically a mom who does not like toys in the living space, you know what, for the last 10 months, or the last seven months with Deacon in the house, I would rather toys in the living room than a baby that won't sleep, because toys can be cleaned up. And a fussy baby, it's like, I feel like once, the morning starts off hard you can pretty much guarantee that the afternoon will be hard so we do keep a couple of things of toys in a closet downstairs and they're able to pull out those puzzles or games or whatever is in there so that's pretty much what we do in the mornings then I'm done we do lunch time we play outside together they can also choose to play outside like they are now instead of like playing on the rug or whatever. 
Um, so we, if it's nice, we'll eat lunch outside together, play outside together until it's rest time. All of my kids still rest. Um, it's not always perfect, but um, they do go down for a little while. And typically I let them read for a little while and then I talk to them in their little camera in their room and I tell them, okay, it's time to go to sleep. And it's not terribly long, but it gives me some quiet. I'm like an introvert who can probably, I guess, can be extroverted, but I really, really, really need quiet in the house for a little while. And then we get up in the afternoon and we play more. We play outside more um, if the weather's nice or if they're allowed, which right now they've lost that privilege, but if they're allowed, they get their screen time then, whether they wanna watch a show or they want to do their little tablets for just a little while. We, out, we allow about an hour of screen time a day. So outside tablet time, inside play time. Um, we read together, obviously. Typically I read to them before nap time and just other times throughout the day if they ask for me to read a book. Um, and then daddy's home and it's dinner time and it's wrestle time, typically. So that is kind of what our daily routine looks like. That is obviously when we're home. Um, a couple of days a week, I am trying to get out of the house last summer without a baby and without being pregnant. I was getting out of the house every day, whether we went to the gym or the library or a park or the pool or the splash pad. This year, it, that feels a little harder. So I have committed to myself to get them out of the house like two days a week to go to the park or something. And we typically do that after brother takes a shorter nap in the morning and then we hit the park, eat lunch there play a little bit, come home and do nap time. So every day looks a little bit different, but this is kind of like my security. <laughs> and like, I don't have to, what is this What is this random day gonna look like? This is what it looks like if we stay home. We may throw in a walk or something, like there are those things, we live on a cul-de-sac with, gosh, like 17 other kids that are six and under. So there's always kids playing outside. Um, and you know, in terms of like what I give them at the table, I do structure some of that and choose for them what they play, but the rest of the day they get to choose. So some of y'all are gonna be like, they need to have more choice or whatever. They have like most of the day is whatever they want to do um, within reason. But this is the stuff that I feel like um, they don't have to think about and it's just directed for them. This is what they get to do and they use their brains in different ways. because. Otherwise, throughout the day, they're just like vrooming with cars and building towers and everything like that, which I love. I love, I love, I love. But just using different areas of their brain. So, what I want, this is like the longest video ever. What I want to hear from you is what does your daily routine like look like? And I'm going to share this in a blog. If y'all give me some good, fun ideas, I want to share these with everybody so y'all can, we can help one another. Um, enjoy the summer to the fullest. It, we, I don't think the summer has to be something that's dreaded. I really enjoy the summer because mornings aren't rushed and I'm not really a morning person. So um, we can enjoy the summer as moms, even with multiple littles or just with one. I know it looks different in every single season and next summer, our summer is going to look entirely different with a fourth. Um, so grace, 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 and trying to just enjoy life and enjoy the day that God has given us. Love y'all.